Oh baby good gravy. <laughs> My name is Mime Kim and welcome to Mime Time. For today's episode, I'd like to talk a little bit about myself and why I'm starting this podcast. For those of you who don't know, I'm 27 years old and currently living in Seoul, South Korea. I was born here, but my family moved to America when I was one. Just to give you a little bit of background, my life story and all that. I moved around a lot, uh, mostly on the East Coast, from like New York to Maryland, Charlotte, North Carolina, Raleigh, North Carolina, Kansas in the fifth grade, and then from sixth grade onwards, I lived in Rhode Island. So I would call that my home state, and I would say that's where home is for me, if I had to identify. And I moved to Korea about seven years ago. After being in college for two years, I dropped out. And at that time in my life, I didn't really know what was going on. Like, I didn't know much about life, and I didn't know, like, how the world worked, how to make money, how to be an adult, how to be, like, a successful or competent, you know, human being. And most of my life, I had crippling depression and very low self-esteem. And of course, as you can imagine, as an Asian American, growing up in places where I was the only Asian, if not the only Korean, I often felt like very left out. I often felt very alone. I felt like no one could understand me. So with this low self-esteem, poor diet, being overweight, just being a chubby little Asian kid, Asian American kid with thick glasses and a bowl cut, being very socially awkward and not feeling like I fit in everywhere. Like I, you know, I grew up pretty miserable. A lot, I couldn't relate to my, my Korean parents who grew up in Korea. And there was just a generation gap, a, a language barrier. I did not grow up speaking Korean. So most of my life, most of my childhood was, looking back, it was like a big, like depressing blur. <laughs> there, were, there were some redeeming things about it, but my point being is I've come a long way. Now, after living in Korea for seven years, I can speak Korean pretty fluently. At this point, like I could talk to anyone. I could go up and talk to a kid or uh, an, an old person and, and strive a cup of conversation in a bar or whatever, or a cafe. I can, t I can talk to Korean people because I'm Korean blood and I've, I felt like if I was gonna move to Korea, then this is something I should learn. Whereas when I was a kid, I always thought I was too stupid. I thought I was, too, I was defective, like something was wrong with me. So I didn't want to, I didn't want to improve myself growing up as a kid because I thought, what's the point? I'm stupid, I'm useless. Um, also thought the same thing about women. I thought no woman is ever gonna love me. No, girls are dumb, girls are stupid. And so like I grew up hating them even though like I desired like love and affection and all the other things. So now I have a wonderful girlfriend who loves me and who I love. And I don't feel like I have a, a scarcity mindset. And as much as I love my girlfriend, if we're, we were ever to go our separate ways, like I don't have a fear that I wouldn't have, um, that I don't have a fear that I would have a problem finding, you know, um, other people to meet, uh, other wonderful women. And I'm, I'm making more money than I thought I, I would, or definitely more money than I made 10 years ago as a freelancer, just doing these different gigs. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty, st I'm relatively stable. You know, of course, like who wouldn't want to be rich, but that's part of why I'm making this podcast is because I want to uh, have guests on here who are financially successful and successful in every way of their lives. Because what I want to be is the best version of myself every single day for the rest of my life. I want to really improve myself. I want to make the most of this life. And that's what I'm doing now. So like I said, seven years ago, I couldn't speak any Korean, but now I can speak Korean. Um, I'm also in the best shape of my life. I'm eating green shakes, improving my diet constantly, and go, hitting, hitting the gym pretty consistently now, like three times a week, lifting weights and doing some cardio on the treadmill. Of course, I could always be doing better. And that's where this podcast comes in, um, alongside just years of listening to audiobooks and reading books about self-development and all that stuff. So after years of reading articles, reading blogs, listening to audiobooks and watching YouTube videos from, you know, all these different fields about finance and health, I decided like, well, now maybe it's time for me to give back. Maybe it's time for me to like foster my own community. And so uh, I want to thank you all for being part of this journey. Um, if you guys are listening, you know, please hit subscribe. And if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, please leave a comment, you know, press that like and subscribe button, blah, 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 blah. Um, but, oh, okay, lost my, lost my train of thought. So to go back, 
I'm 27 now, and I live in a, a pretty awesome car, a, a pretty awesome apartment in a really awesome location in the heart of Seoul, in one of the most populated metropolises on this planet. I'm eating delicious food. I'm making time for people I care about. I spend time with wonderful, amazing people, people who are talented, people who are just really generous and kind. I have a really awesome network of really cool people. And I just have great time just spending time with, uh, just like getting coffee with them or having a drink at the bar or whatever. I have a great girlfriend. I'm healthy and I'm strong and I'm always learning every single day. Every day feels like a dream. And there's all these opportunities to make money or to improve myself, to become a better person. And that's why I realized like, I have to do this podcast. This is going to be part of, selfishly, this is, this is part of my own personal growth. And I want to also help other people along that way. So 10 years ago, I was 17. And I didn't look like this. I didn't know how to dress up. I didn't know fashion. I didn't know how to take care of myself. I didn't think anyone would love me. I didn't think I was very worthwhile. I didn't think I could do anything in life. I didn't have hope. I didn't have hope. I was so miserable. At my worst moments, you know, I, would, I wanted to kill myself. At my, at my deepest, darkest moments, I wanted to just see the whole world burn. Like, I, I just was so miserable. I hated myself. I hated God. I hated my parents, I hated Korea, I hated America, I hated Korean people for being who they were, Korean, I hate American people, black, white, you name it, I hated everybody. And I, I just had this deep self-loathing, this dark negative energy, which is still in there, the shadow self. I just wish that 10 years ago, when I was 17, someone had told me, there's another way, you can make a choice from now on to become the best version of yourself. You know, if you're in self-development, you've heard all the cliches, you know, you could, you have a choice. You could get bitter or you could get better. And about seven years ago, when I came to Korea, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna get better. And my resolve and my conviction just strengthens over time. I'm gonna be better. I'm going to be the best version of myself, whatever that looks like. And I think now, man, if there was just someone when I was 17, just like reached out there's someone who just told me, look, you can be whoever you want to be. You can live an amazing life. And 10 years from now, all these problems that you're worried about, you will laugh at them. Right now, it seems hard and it seems like time is really slow, but there will become when the days and the weeks and the months, they just go by so fast because you're just having the time of your life and you're enjoying and relishing every single moment because every moment is like a dream because it, a dream that you made real through your own conviction, through your own effort, confidence that you earned. If someone had just t taken me, you know, shook me by the shoulders and told me this when I was 17, just maybe guided me to some books and, you know, just checked on me once in a while. I'm not saying I haven't, I didn't have great mentors. I've, I've had amazing mentors. That's part of why I'm here. But if someone had just told me when I was 17, 15, 13, Look, you can have, you can start little habits day by day that will build upon your health and your wealth and your, your personal goals and success and all that stuff for the rest of your life. Like you can really excel. You can be happy. You can be the happiest person you know. You can be living a dream every single day, you know, and just, li just have a heart filled with gratitude and humility and curiosity and go throughout your life, not resenting life, not hating the world, not hating the past, but forgiving the past, forgiving your parents, um, those who you think wronged you, like all the, all the trauma, like coming to accept that, acknowledging it and then letting it go. It's always a constant process, but you can do that and you can become, you can become amazing. You can become an amazing human being and you can feel really good about yourself and those around you and you can make other people feel really good and you can really maximize your potential. And that's why I'm, again, why I'm, another reason why I'm doing this podcast. I want to maximize my potential and I want to, if you're looking or listening to me now I, I, and you're 17 years old, 15 or 14, 13, especially if you're a Korean or Asian American and you feel like your parents don't understand you or you feel like the world doesn't understand you or you feel like you don't belong, you feel like there's no hope that you can't do anything, you feel like you're a lost cause, 
I'm going to I'm going to be the one if you're listening to this on the internet. <laughs> I'm going to be here to shake you by the shoulders and tell you, "Look, there's a choice. You have a choice. You have the opportunity for freedom. You can be free. You can live life on your own terms." And it can be real. And you can realize your own dream because what I live now, this life that I enjoy, this life that I cherish as I live it, as I try to really just soak in the present moment. This life, uh, it, it can be yours. It can be, it can be yours and more. And oh, I just had, <laughs> I lost my train of thought. This, this can be better than your wildest dreams. And oh yeah, the life that I'm living now, you know, I'm wearing this cheeky bow tie. I'm looking really nice. I'm looking sharp. You know, I'm strong. I'm healthy. Like I got some money in the bank. I have all these opportunities. I can go and I can travel, uh, go on amazing vacations, uh, and I will go on an amazing four-week vacation starting from next Monday. This can all be yours, and you can do better than me. So if you're 17 now and you make a commitment to yourself that you will for the rest of your life try to make your life the best that it possibly can, whatever that means to you, whether it means like you know having a good body. A strong, healthy body, um, whether it means um, you know uh, get, getting the uh, attention and affection from um, from women or men or men or women that you're attracted to, making money, whatever it is, like I, I want you to really go for it, and I want you to go all the way, like I'm trying to do right now. Because if you're 17 and listening to this, and you're and you're listening to people like me, 10 years, 12 years, 15 years ahead of you, then by the time you're 27. You could be a multi-millionaire. You could be way more successful than I am now. By the t if you're 17 and you follow me over the next I don't know five years and my and you feel my energy and you let uh, my spirit and my ideas, um, which I will curate <laughs> um, uh, for your betterment. If you can stick to this, then by the time you're 27, you could be w way better off than I am now. And so that's what I want to do. I want to be that Hyung, which in Korean means older brother, I want to be that older brother for those of you who don't have one. And I'm lucky that I have like amazing older brothers, like my two blood brothers, as well as um, other bros around me who have really mentored me a lot over the years. You know who you are. And yeah, just do it. So that's what, I, that's what I'm starting this podcast because I want to inspire and I want to, I want, I want, 13, 15, 17 year old, Asian Americans in particular, but this, this message of loneliness and isolation and identity, this can apply to just about everybody in their own way. So I, I want to reach out to you guys and tell you if you're feeling like crap, if you're feeling like life sucks, then um, uh, what can I tell you? Like I, I feel for you more than you could ever know. I, I've had some really, really miserable moments in my life and all that negative energy, all that trauma, all that hatred and resentment and fear and guilt you can transform that you can transmutate that into gold into amazing positive energy into um really just like turning the dial up to 11 in terms of like your positive energy your thoughts your habits and your day-to-day -day real life another reason uh why i'm starting this podcast is that i'm gonna have amazing guests on my show some of them are just very good friends or some of them will be eventually people I meet for the first time and we're going to just have amazing conversations, you know, just like something like, uh, you know, Joe Rogan or London Real, but it's going to be my time. It's going to be my version and it's going to be quirky. Um, I'm usually a pretty lighthearted guy and I'm cracking jokes all the time. So I'll be, I'll be doing that more so in the future episodes. Uh, the reason why it's called mime time is because one, it rhymes. Right, so that's very marketable, and mime is actually not a Korean name. It's my birth name. My mom gave it to me, but she came up with it in the context of Jesus being the living water. Mime in Hebrew means water. So I look at that. I interpret that in my own way, and the way you interpret and perceive your world is really great because. When I was a kid, I hated my name. I, I hated my name 
people would call me Mr. Mime. People would call me Mame or, you know, Main or whatever, Mimi, Mame. <laughs> so, you know, kids are mean and they'll do anything to like make fun of you or whatever. But then I, I as a kid, I took that so personally, like, no, my name is Mime. It's spelled M-A-I-M, which is, you know, Mame, the word, the verb to Mame. <laughs> right? It's like, it's a very confusing thing. English is funny. So anyways, I, uh, as a kid, I hated my name and I hated myself. Now I love myself and I love my name because, because of how my name has affected the course of my life in ways I can't really begin to appreciate, except the fact that it's unique and I'm unique and I have this unique voice that I want to share with everyone. And uh, hopefully you guys all find it beneficial. Another thing about water, mine, my name means water, right? So there's that quote by Bruce Lee that I'm gonna pull up in a second. I should have had this prepared. But, you know, Bruce Lee says, <laughs> Bruce Lee talks about water. You may have seen this quote, or you may have seen him, you know, talk in the interview or heard this with, empty your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes a bottle. You put it into a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. And my name is water. My name is water and I want to flow every day. Uh, and I want to fill up, as I fill up my own cup, I want to fill up other people's cups. And I want to flow because, you know, I mean, I, how, how far do you want me to take this metaphor of water being, you know, vital for life, um, uh, uh, being in a state of flow being present to the moments, being so powerful and having immense potential to, you know, just be completely still or just be like, you know, like a, a raging tsunami. You know, water has all this potential energy. So I want to realize that potential energy with my physical body and my, uh, and my, what, mental capability. And I just want to be all that I can be. And I want to realize all my potential because man's greatest burden is unfulfilled potential. Thank you, Dan Pena. Anyways, I, I hope this uh, gives you guys an idea, a little taste of what this podcast is about. Um, a lot of it is going to be me just talking about ideas. It'll be on all kinds of different subjects. It'll be some, some episodes might be a bit more stream of consciousness. That's kind of like what I like to do. And the other episodes will be will have like specific topics, ideas, messages, you know, essays that I might write out or just like go off the cuff. And I'll also have interviews with awesome people uh, from like all different fields, you know, people who are self-made entrepreneurs, people who are, you know, uh, very successful, you know, PT instructors or, or, you know, people who, you know, write amazing books or, or have podcasts of their own. Like there's so much potential and my network is only growing. And as this, as time goes on in 2020, I know that this is going to change my life. And I hope in ways that are useful to you that it does change your life. So anyways, thank you so much for listening to me. My name is Mime. And again, welcome to Mime Time. <laughs> All right, take it easy, folks. <laughs>